without any further ado, let's move on to our keynote session. Let's kickstart with Ms. Shalini Pillay Banerjee, Head of GPA and NBU Marketing, Google Pay, speaking about building user preference in a world of transactions. Shalini joined Google five years ago as a head of SMB marketing in India and then moved into her current role last year. Starting her career at Coca-Cola in sales and then brand marketing before co-founding her own venture funded enterprise in BI SaaS space, which led for over eight years, working with some of the largest CPG and financial services brands in India. Truly an honor to have you here, Ms. Banerjee. We're going to leave the floor to you, ma'am. Hi. And I had marketing for Google Pay and NBU for Google India. First off, I'd like to thank the team at Exchange for Media for inviting me to speak to you today. As the name of the conference suggests, Screen Age. And if there's one screen that's dominating our lives, it is the mobile screen. And we spend our time on apps. Data from App Annie reveals that Indians spend close to five hours a day on apps. This has grown more than 80% when you compare it to the same quarter pre-pandemic. 26 apps, almost using 26 apps with five at very high frequency across gaming, entertainment, tools, and of course, financial apps. When we see the fintech world, it has been transformational. The digital payment space has been turbocharged by UPI. UPI-related searches peaked during COVID and continue to sustain at 20%. Over 150 million users using UPI to do their daily transactions, be it sending money to a loved one, recharging their mobile, paying for groceries, or paying for household utilities. A user has more than three to four financial apps for various needs. So there is a preference game for every transaction. So what builds preference? For us, preference is built on two behavioral pillars. App engagement, how frequently is the app used? App satisfied, how satisfied is the user with the app at the end of every transaction? Let me share some data from a recent study that Google did with Kantar to understand the financial app user behavior. If you see the chart, you will notice how strong the relationship is between brand metrics and app usage. Starting off from when they just discover the app, to onboarding, to start using it, familiarity, and then there's this huge big jump. Almost a 32% increase from usage to satisfaction. Not a surprise, but let's double click a bit. Looking at the usage pattern and looking at what drives usage, we know safety and security is table stakes. But after that, it's the relevance to the user need and the context that need with the new features, the updates, and that's what drives differentiation. It's not just what it does now, but what it continues to do for me and how. Now let's look at the next slide. In this chart, it definitely shows. There's no secret that offers and loyalty incentives nudge the user. In fact, users are constantly searching for offers. But I think it's critical to see if you can build that offer construct to move from it being a trial to a habit. And don't just see it as a single transaction use case. Our guiding principles have always been helpfulness and delight. Let me give you some examples of what I mean. Let's go back to usage. Let's say I want to pay someone. I want to pay Amit. What comes into your mind is the face of the person, not the full name. I have over 10 Amits. <laughs> Don't even get me started on Raj or Rahul. That's why we looked at how you can remove this first friction point. How can you make this process easy, seamless, helpful? So when you want to pay, you don't think about the name, but you see who you want to pay. And that's your first time that you're making that happen. Another example I want to talk about is bill payments, something I don't enjoy. 
In fact, when we get our bills, we tag them into things to do board, pin it on the fridge, punch it onto a desk, make it into a checklist. Users get multiple bills in our household, electricity, gas, newspapers, etc. There is a huge fear on missing the deadline, driven by past experiences, penalties, service interruption, the due date constantly lingering in your head till the time the bill is paid. Bills need tracking and users fill that gap using notebooks or by relying on family members. We wanted to move away from just enabling you to make that payment to assistance to almost automation to help users track, manage and pay these recurring payments, mimicking almost their offline checklist. So the other feature that we've just recently launched is the recurring payment space. And once we've launched it, we've actually been helping educate our users on it. Let's play the ad. Hi, mommy. What's going on? What's going on? I was just adding water to the water. Did the bill get filled? Last date, 18th. Last date, 18th, mommy. And the cylinder? Cylinder? Phone, internet, bill, all of the bills are filled. You are calm, yeah, mommy. We are doing all the work with all the work. There is a checklist of Google Paper for all the bills. And there is no payment. I know, I don't miss paying my bills anymore. And that brings me to the next point, incentives. Now, with Diwali around the corner, there are offers and offers and offers. Um, we've looked at it, at how we can also build on the moment. And for us, let me take you back a little bit into the past. It all started in 2019 with something called the Rangoli, where we reimagined do X, get Y. The premise was simple, do different transactions, get stamps. But the elusive Rangoli stamp to complete the set only happened if you finished that one particular type of transaction. It captured the imagination of every Indian, where collectibles, not cash, became the incentive. So in a nutshell, it's not just about the announcement of an offer or giving the offer. But what we realized is, how do you create the experience around it? Can you almost gamify it? And if I had to look back and think about the three elements that we see in gamification, the first one, it has to link to the cultural or the environmental context that brings a sense of understanding. The second, building levels that help users to get a sense of achievement. And when we think about these levels, it's not just within the offer, but are you doing it enough number of times that can actually help you create the habit? And the third thing that we've noticed that brings in delight is actually the social signaling. It's important. They talk about it. They brag about it. Um, and it actually nudges other users. So when we took the 2019 principles and in 2020, we looked at the same thing and created another game called Go India. Let's play this ad. नक्शे पर ढूंढोगे तो कच्छ गुजरात में मिलेगा। फरासल में जहाँ गरबानोगी वही आप लोग कच्छ। ये बात तुम ये शोषित बात आटा माचेर मुद्दे ठेले दाओ। जहाँ सरसों की महक उठी वही हमार कोलकाता। जहाँ पैरों को मिट्टी छू गई वही मेरा गोवा। पार्टी इस बार हम दीपावली मधुराई में नहीं मनाएंगे। जहाँ कोलम एक इंडिया हमारे दिलों में भी रहता है। Google Pay पर खेलिए Go India गेम और घर बैठे सेलिब्रेट करिए उस दिल वाले इंडिया को। Built from an insight that the Diwali holidays was a time to visit new places or family, given the pandemic conditions, could we let our users tap into a virtual road trip? It was a 30-city road trip that celebrated famous landmarks and traditions. You would collect tickets, kilometers, based on the type of transactions made. There were exchanges, community sharing, with users sharing their locations as they were traveling, posting about becoming ticket collectors. In fact, my parents said, you're not coming to Chennai, but can you send me the Chennai ticket? Like the Rangoli game, it generated huge user love, positive sentiment, and again, through the game, we were able to nudge but more importantly, educate users about new type of pay flows, see them adopted, and in fact, more sustained even after the game was over. 
It was surprising, delightful in an unexpected way. But engagement doesn't always have to be gamification. It doesn't have to be about self goals or wins. Early this year, we were inspired by what we saw in the early days of COVID wave two, the humanity we witnessed, where everyone helped each other. It was on this premise, we wanted to make sure that Google Pay on app actions in India could keep this concern alive and drive continued concern. And so we thought, what if every action of our user counted for something more? इंडिया तो बस इंडिया की परवाह करता है इसी परवाह के लिए गूगल पे ने बनाए हैं आई केयर हार्ट यहाँ दोस्तों के साथ शेयर किया हर हार्ट किसी की मदद में बटाएगा हाथ With this at the cornerstone, we launched the Eye Care campaign in July, where we got users to gift care hearts with their friends once they made a socially good transaction. The Eye Care campaign had successfully donated 10 million meals to families affected by COVID, coming from the actions of millions of Google Pay users. This one is close to my heart. So as I conclude, I'd like to summarize. See how every engagement is leading the user to understand your app, exploring it, moving towards the N plus one goal. Kiske ghar se nikli parva? Kiske angad tak hai? Gaat cha cha. Ikis tari kotti ka confirm. Apna tha koi samne ya kisi anjan ke kam aayi. India in baaton ki parva nahi karta. to gift care hearts with their friends once they made a socially good transaction. The Eye Care campaign had successfully donated 10 million. See how every engagement is leading the user to understand your app, exploring it, moving towards the N plus one goal. Context your engagement to something they will find useful. Explore your nudges, your offers. Education can be surprising. It can be delightful. Reimagine the do the X, get the Y. And most of all, thank you for listening. Okay, that was truly an enriching session with Miss Banerjee. Thank you, ma'am.